welcome back. They say you can't have your cake and eat it too, but when it comes to this next recipe, we'd like to see them stopping us. We're looking forward to it. Joining us now is Christy Gibson from Take the Cake. Christy, good morning. Hi, good morning, Christy. guys. One of us is more excited, I think, than the other <laughs> this it's, morning. Well, it's always something with himself. He's not crazy about coconut. I love the shade, right? Oh, I just love the shade. Listen, so the minute Christy's well, it's done come with in. love. But you know, I, I am. I, I kind of focus on desserts. This take, is your well, take, it's take, take the, the cake. cake. And you know, it just so happens that there are a few sweet things Simon's not crazy about. Okay, um, he's not vocal or, about or that. Just though. a few or, or nine, mm. and <laughs> coconut is one of them. Now, this is called German chocolate cake. Voila! Oh, it is not German. That. It's actually, it, 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 it's not from Germany, it's from the States. And it was developed by an Englishman who lived in America in the 50s, became super popular. This is such a normal cake in the States, just like coffee walnut cake is really normal wow, here. Okay. And if you, you know, in the grocery store, you can find a, a canister of chocolate frosting, you can find a canister of vanilla frosting in the States. One of your choices is German chocolate. And his wow. name was German. His surname was German. Wow. His name was okay. Samuel <clears throat> German. So, uh, oh, I got it. Sorry, when you said his name was German, I thought he had a German surname. As in, no, like, his name was actually Samuel like the, German. The dessert itself well, yeah, has it. the dessert itself has and nothing to do with Germany. Okay, right. right. We start with 225 grams of salted butter, and we're going to put it in. Uh, uh, a heavy bottomed pot on the stove and we're adding we're, we're, we're making our topping first we're going to set it aside to chill okay you can even chill this overnight if you want oh, wow. we're adding to uh 200 and no we're not we're adding 470 mils of evaporated milk okay that's going to be a bit more than a can mm -hmm. this so is can canned milk uh, condensed <clears throat> milk or evaporated. Yeah. it's different? treated with the heat process okay. so what you get is sort of like a <clears throat> caramelized color can you see that color yeah um it's a, it's a richer milk than full fat milk um and it's also less fat than cream okay so we're we're going to combine and bring to a boil these ingredients and we've got to stir it the whole time oh. because uh, otherwise it will burn on the bottom of your pan so you've okay. got to babysit it a little bit all right 400 grams of sugar you can use caster sugar or granulated sugar okay this is 15 grams of corn flour oh is that to kind of thicken it up Chrissy yes yeah okay we we want this to thicken up and uh, as it chills, as it cools, it will thicken for us, okay? And then the last thing we're adding is egg yolks. Oh. Six of them. Wow, so there's a bit okay? of richness there, lovely. Yes, six egg yolks. Now, <clears throat> we're gonna babysit this. We're doing, we're TV time, so we're gonna cheat. You're gonna babysit that for about 15 minutes. So get comfortable and keep stirring it, scraping the bottom. You don't want it to burn. If it does, don't throw it away, just strain it. Okay. Okay. I like to yeah. take the bits out. Yeah. yeah, but bring it to a boil, a, a slow boil, not a rolling boil. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, then afterwards it will, it will cool a little bit. We're going to add 300 grams of coconut. So I've got a bit of desiccated coconut here, Your which is, bit. this is what we're really used to seeing. Don't even look at him. <laughs> Crazy I'm just going to focus on you right now. Yeah, do you and I? We're in this together. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Come on. She's she's here for me. Talk yes. coconut to me. Okay. And then mm, you okay. know what I? Do you know what I like to use? Oh, look. At this that is coconut. you'll find this in the American section of your uh, local Super Value. Mm. This is look at the fake smile on his face. <laughs> this is what he does, Chrissy. This is sweetened. This is sweetened flaked oh, coconut. Wow. Gorgeous. See, I love the flavor of it. It's just yeah. the texture. Simon, I actually think you might it's like the this. The texture is just. If you taste can... a little bit of that, you know, they're your grapefruit. Oh, I'll Jump have a bit. Have a, Don't have a you go. worry. I'm going to And we haven't even gotten to the cake yet, so I'm going to keep moving. Now, yeah. this is a uh, sweetened flaked coconut. It is beautiful. Looks like a sticky rice. I, 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 I tell you what, it's beautiful. Okay. And if if you're not crazy about coconut, it might be because you haven't had this. Oh, there we go. Ah, Game changer. Say, now yeah, we're going to add our 300 grams of coconut and we're going to add 200 grams of chopped pecans that's the way you say now, it Chrissy. the coconut pecans pecans no you're right Two, pecans 200 grams of chopped pecans 300 grams of coconut use as much of the sweetened flaked coconut as you can find Holy and mold. this is just 10 mils <clears throat> of pure vanilla extract. Wow. Now, we're going to stir this up and combine all the ingredients so they're well combined. Then we're gonna let it chill for at least an hour before we frost the cake. Me, 
I like to chill it overnight. Okay. okay? Of course, the recipe is on the website for anyone because there's yeah. loads going on here. Yeah. So I need a, um, you have a couple of minutes left. So let's, <laughs> let's let that chill. Afterwards, it's going to look like this. So we're going to make our cake now, okay? <laughs> and we're mixing 300 grams of self-raising flour okay. with 100 grams of cocoa. Now, this recipe does traditionally use a, a melted chocolate. But, you know, I, I, I find that sometimes cocoa is just more handy. I'm more likely to have it in my house. Okay. All right? 400 grams, again, of castor sugar, okay? We're going to mix our dry ingredients together. Just a teaspoon of salt, which is seven grams, a teaspoon of bread soda, which okay. is another seven grams, and two teaspoons of baking powder. Right, okay. So we've got plenty in here to rise the cake. The cake is gonna be nice and puffy. Start on a low speed so it doesn't go everywhere. If you don't have an electric stand-up mixer at home, you can use a hand mixer. Yeah, can you, yeah. And if, if you don't have anything electrical, just use a whisk. This doesn't have to get, to, it doesn't have to be a really Super puffy smooth. batter, okay? Yeah. Now, to this, we are adding 240 mils of milk, full fat milk. We're adding 100 mils of vegetable oil. I like to use rapeseed oil. Okay. 10 mils of pure vanilla extract. Oh, there's the vanilla again. Mm -hmm. Gotta love it. And I, lo oh, yeah. I do, I do. <clears throat> yeah. And two eggs. Okay, guys? Yep. That, that is almost our cake done. We only have one more ingredient to add. Okay. Now, this cake batter is going to be runny and it's not going to be puffy. So it's a very low maintenance batter. The last thing we're adding is 240 mils of boiling water. Okay. okay? So what's just that too, Chrissy? Uh, well, it's going to thin out our batter okay. for sure. Yeah. But, but it's, it's also, for the boiling you're going to find that this cake is light. Okay. And it's because, you know, the less kind of moisture you have in your cake, the more dense it's going yeah. to be and the more bready. This is not a bready cake. It's, it's, it's very light and, and fluffy. Now, I realize we are short on time. Yeah, about a minute or so. Yeah. We're going we'll to cheat, and then you guys can taste what you've Absolutely. got going on. Now, by the way, in. there's a lot, of flavor, a lot of flavors going on in this, I'm so you might try. need a minute anyway to kind of roll it around your mouth a little bit to get all that's going on. Okay, no, you didn't get any of the frosting there. No, 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 it's not enough. Go this bit. Don't let him get away no, with no, it. Come on. Let's go in here. Come on. Now, do you see when it yep. comes out of the oven, it's gonna ha it's gonna be a little bit puffy like that. Do you see? Let it roll around your You're mouth. gonna put it in three baking pans, mm -hmm. greased, and I like to put paper on the bottom oh, of my gorgeous. baking pans like this. Simon, mm. be honest now. What do you think of that? It's gorgeous. I think that you didn't get enough for the frosting. The, the, the flavors in the frosting are incredible. Look at this, get this bit. Look at that bit. But, so oh, you're going to have enough batter to yeah. divide into three baking trays, okay? And if you yeah, don't want burn. three layers, yeah. just oh, use man. two layers, okay? You're going to find that your, your cake has a dome on the top. Just slice it off. Do you see how Flatten I've done it, it there? Yeah. And make it flat. And then you can build your cake the way I have done. So this is what your, your kind of finished result at the front here. Oh. So you just That's dress right. it with a couple of pecans. That's see? right. That's, a, that's exactly what I did. Chrissy, this is gorgeous. It kind of tastes like a gorgeous cake bounty, if that makes sense. It's the, yeah. the coconut. You have tried stunning. German chocolate cake now. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if Mr. German made a smaller version of that, what do you call it, a wunderbar. Oh, you're cute. Where would you get you that are kind cute. of these, He's actually, you mentioned smaller version. These make great cupcakes. Okay. Wow, right, so. thank you, there you go. My pleasure. Full recipe details are, of course, up on the website, or you can check out Chrissy's own website, takethecake.ie, up next. We're going to be meeting the redemption actor who everyone is talking about, and I mean everyone. We're back after this short break. Cheers. Cheers.